We finally have some Disney Dreamlight Valley update news. No, it's not a date, but we do have an official preview of some of the Star Path items in the Halloween Star Path. So we had previously seen in the new promo image a few of the likely Star Path items. We discussed those on stream, so we'll look at those first. And then we have four new photos showcasing a bunch of new items from the Star Path. And there's so many items, I'm wondering, is this going to be a longer Star Path? Path, maybe a few less motifs this time. So we knew from the roadmap that we would be looking at a Halloween star path starting this September with the update with Belle. And then from a tweet a few weeks ago, we saw the emoji preview that suggested Nightmare Before Christmas, Halloween or trick-or-treating, and pirates. And the items that we're seeing really do stick to those themes and a little bit more. So let's first look at those items that we discussed on stream that are from that initial image. So on the left side, we have three items, two confirmed to be in the star path. The third seems very likely to be in the star path. And these are all Nightmare Before Christmas themed. We have the iconic fountain that you would see in Halloween Town. We have the arch, I think to the graveyard. And then we also have the spiral hill. And these items look like they came right out of the movie. I do wonder if we'll be seeing Nightmare Before Christmas motifs as well. And then on the right side of this image, we see a pirate parrot. And I I'm thinking this is most likely going to be the companion in the next star path. Now let's take a look at the images that they released just today. They have them out as one composite, but we'll look at them one at a time. So in the first image, it looks like dream styles are back in the star path and we are getting a little Halloween costume and trick or treating backpack for Stitch. Now he is facing away from us. So I kind of wonder, will he be wearing a mask or is it simply a hoodie with a little trick or treat backpack? pack is so cute and I'm so happy to see a dream style back in the star path. In the next image they confirm that that fountain that we saw in the promo image and that arch are indeed star path items. I don't know why we don't see the spiral hill. I do wonder what other nightmare before Christmas items we might be seeing. In the bottom right we see the items clearly related to pirates but it seems like there's a whole lot of them. And I wonder how many of them are individual items versus items that are all stuck together. And let me know if I miss anything in here because there is so much to look at. So it looks like we have a model boat. We have a barrel that has a starfish attached to it. In the back, there's some sort of a candelabra. And since I don't see many items in this image that I have seen before in game, I'm assuming that must be a new item, but I'm not quite sure. It's sitting on top of something, maybe a crate with a ripped tablecloth, or maybe it's a type of table. So behind the candelabra, we have this rectangle that's kind of leaning and it's making me think two things. One, I'm guessing it's some sort of painting, maybe a portrait, maybe it'll have something interesting on it, some sort of a reveal. But it also makes me think that many of these items are probably connected in some sort of single loot pile type item. So I wonder how many of these are individual because we have not only the painting in the back leaning, but in the front we have what I initially thought might be a handle or a shovel. But now that I'm looking at it leaning against the barrel, I'm pretty sure we're looking at an anchor. From the side having those crossbars pointing at us and the top part actually being in a loop and I don't see the game introducing leaning items with this update. I mean if they do that'd be really interesting but I think it's much more likely that we're looking at items that are actually attached to each other in a singular item. That painting in the back is probably attached to something else. It may not actually be a painting. It may be something else entirely but with the way that it's so flat. Now the painting is in front of the rock so it looks like like it's leaning on the rock so I don't know if the rock is part of the foliage and the table is in front of it and the painting is attached to something back there or if the rock is part of the display. We have the treasure chest that's open and overflowing with treasure and it's sitting on top of another chest so I wonder if this is going to be a two-part both of these items stuck together or if those are going to be two separate items because we also have an unidentified item in the left side with those swirls on it and it looks like it has more treasure in it so maybe some other sort of a treasure chest or something. They could be attached and I don't know which way it'll go. So I'm wondering out of all of these items, how many are actually just all glued together? Am I looking at like nine items here or am I looking at like one or two? And then in the front, we see the iconic chest 
from Pirates of the Caribbean, where the cursed gold came from and turned all the pirates into zombies at night makes me wonder a little bit if we could be seeing zombie skeleton pirate clothing options or dream styles maybe. But these items all seem to have a really nice amount of detail to them, so I think we're about to see a lot of new pirate builds with these. Now these three photos all match up to those emojis that we saw, right? We have Halloween trick-or-treating, we have Nightmare Before Christmas, and then we have Pirates, which we were assuming was probably Pirates of the Caribbean. But then we have a fourth photo, and this fourth photo is the one that I think I'm most excited for. It's only a single item, and they're showing us an organ, but a pretty iconic organ. If I haven't misplaced this, I think this is the organ from the Haunted Mansion. Now with the new Haunted Mansion movie coming out this year, and then the Disney Disneyland Haunted Mansion ride, undergoing a small amount of refurbishment and just reopening this month. It seems like it makes a lot of sense to be promoting the Haunted Mansion through the Star Path, which means we could be seeing other Haunted Mansion items in this Star Path, and that would be really exciting. You know what I really want is a Haunted Mansion house skin, please. I would also love all the Nightmare Before Christmas characters to come with their various really interesting houses or a Nightmare Before Christmas themed house skin for my house, but seeing this Haunted Mansion item here officially as part of the Star Path is pretty exciting and makes me wonder what else might be in there. So what are you most excited about in this new Star Path? What items do you see here that I missed? And what do you hope is going to be in it? I plan on streaming the update on update day, hoping that they tell us when that is soon. And we stream Dream Snaps each Wednesday on the channel, where we go through voting the new challenge and look at last week's results. So be sure to subscribe for more Disney Dreamlight Valley content and turn on notifications to find out the next time we go live. Hope to see you there.